In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and God saw it was good. Chewing and biting actions are largely controlled by the movement of five muscles on either side of the head. Contraction of the buccinators compresses the cheeks. These muscles, together with the tongue, are used to position food in the mouth. The internal pterygoids are responsible for the side-to-side -side grinding movement of the jaws, while the external pterygoids open the mouth and allow the jaw to protrude, creating back-and-forth grinding movements. The masseter muscles, stretching from the cheekbones to the base of the lower jaw, are responsible for raising and for lowering the jaw and are particularly important in biting. Contractions of the temporalis muscles, situated at the sides of the head, clench the teeth. They work in conjunction with the masseter muscles to coordinate the biting of food. The mouth is the beginning of the digestive system. It is here that the first stages of food breakdown begin. When food enters the mouth, saliva, a fluid containing the digestive enzyme tyalin and mucus, is secreted by the salivary glands. Saliva not only lubricates the food and begins its chemical digestion, but it also helps to keep the mouth cavity moist and clean. The teeth function mechanically to break up the food into smaller, more readily swallowed and digestible pieces. The tongue and the muscular walls of the mouth shape the food into a moist ball, the bolus, which is pushed to the back of the mouth and into the pharynx to be swallowed. The detection of specific water-soluble molecules found in food or drink results in the sensation of taste. Specialized cells found in taste buds on the tongue contain receptors capable of interacting with molecules found in our food. When a taste receptor is stimulated, an electrical signal is produced by the sensory cell, resulting in an impulse which is transmitted to the brain and results in the perception of taste. The taste centers are in the cortex and in the thalamus of the brain. The organ of taste is the tongue. The surface of the tongue is covered with thousands of tiny fronds or papillae, which give it a velvety sheen. The taste buds, the primary organs of taste, are found within these papillae. There are four types of papillae, filiform, fungiform, foliate, and valate. Filiform and fungiform papillae are found in the front half of the tongue and foliate papillae at the back. Filiform are thread-like in shape and more numerous than the mushroom-shaped fungiform type. Valate papillae form a V across the back of the tongue. The base of the tongue is devoid of papillae, but is covered with nodules of tymphoid tissue which make up the lingual tonsil. A taste bud consists of taste cells with hairs that project into the moat surrounding the papillae, supporting cells and nerves. The salivary glands are connected by nerves to the taste buds. Stimulation of the taste buds stimulates the salivary glands to produce saliva. Disney,